Hey guys, this is Dr. Emil Tompkins and we're going to be talking about correcting your posture and I bet you already know that posture is really important and when you were a kid your mom may have told you to sit up straight, pull your shoulders back, you're going to get stuck that way and you might have thought that mom doesn't have any idea what she's talking about. However, here are the facts. There are lots of problems that are associated with issues in our posture. There's a 2011 study that links posture to headaches. There's a 1999 study in clinical rheumatology that links poor posture to back pain. There's a big correlation between poor posture and back pain. There's a study that showed in 2009 in the Journal of Social Psychology showed that posture affects feelings of self-esteem and job at satisfaction. So it can affect a lot of things. Fatigue and sleep, um, a slumped forward posture, is a diagnostic feature of chronic fatigue and depression in a 2017 study. The research is out. Uh, hip, knee, and ankle pain, a 2014 study showed that posture abnormalities showed a higher instance of this knee and ankle pain. We want to make sure that we address our posture so we prevent those things. Digestive issues, um, diaphragm, hiatal hernia, um, the, the diaphragm will affect our, our digestion, it, it, its relationship with the stomach, thoracic outlet syndrome, issues with our shoulders will um, create pressure and, and uh, numbness and tingling in the arms and the hands. There are links between our posture and arthritis. There are so many different issues associated with our posture. So when your mom tells you or told you when you were a kid to bring those shoulders back, you're going to get stuck that way. What she actually meant was, put your shoulders back. You don't want headaches, back pain, lower self-esteem, sleep problems, hip, knee, and ankle pain, and digestive issues, stress, arthritis. Thank you, mom, for the good advice. But now, we need to figure out how we're going to actually affect our posture in a positive way. So we need to take some of the steps to do it. So one of the first things that we're gonna talk about, we're gonna go over five exercises, and the first one is, is the puppet. We're gonna pretend there is a string attached to your head as if you were a puppet. And imagine, if you have this issue with forward head posture, just imagine for a second that someone has taken that string and pulled straight up on that string. As they pull up on that string, it brings your head up, it brings your head back without you doing any weird, unnatural positions. It almost just forces you into a better position. Let's talk about the next exercise. So the next exercise we're going to talk about helps to bring the shoulders into a more stable position. So we're going to, we're going to do what's called locking the shoulders. Very simple thing. You want to bring the shoulder blades back, like you're pulling them together, and then you want to slightly bring them down. So you don't want to force them all the way back like this, but you do want to slightly bring them back. You want to drop them down a little bit. And as you do that, that gives you more stability. So we've done the puppet exercise and then the locking of the shoulders. The next exercise we're going to do is going to be um, the doorway exercise. So the next exercise we'll talk about is called the doorway stretch. And all you do for this exercise is you stand in a doorway, you put your arms on each side of the doorway and you just lean forward. And the whole purpose of this exercise is to create a little bit more stretch in the pectoral muscles because those muscles cause the shoulders to round forward and we don't want that, we want to stretch. So you put your arms in the doorway, you lean your body forward, you hang out in that position for about 30 seconds to a minute. Do that two to three times and you're done. Now the next exercise we're gonna talk about are wall angels. Now this is a really challenging exercise if you're dealing with poor posture. So the way that we're going to do this is you're gonna one, stand against a wall. And the key is we need everything to touch the wall. So your heels, you can't really see this on the video, but your heels, your rear end, your back, your shoulders, your head, all touching the wall. That all by itself can be cha challenging if you have this forward posture position. Then you put your hands and your elbows, shoulders up against the wall. And so in this position, you're holding this position and you're bringing your arms up. Pretend you're doing snow angels in the ground, you just can't move the legs. You're just bringing the arms up and down. And you're gonna do this five times. Now, the key to this exercise is the entire time you want your hands, you want your elbows, you want your shoulders, you want your back, your rear end, your head, your feet touching the wall. When you do that, it will strengthen all those extensor muscles 
that hold you in that upright position. Very valuable exercise. And the last one's going to be pretty simple. These external rotation exercises. When we have a problem with this forward posture, our shoulders tend to round forward. So we've stretched out the muscles in the chest that help with that. But we also need to work on strengthening the external rotating muscles. And so the way that we do that is you put your arms at 90 degrees. So we're here at 90 degrees. And you just rotate the arms out. You hold that position for about five seconds. You go back. You rotate out. Hold that position for about five seconds. Do that 20 to 30 times. You want to be careful if you have any old shoulder injuries. You don't want to aggravate any injuries that you have, but you do want to make sure that you encourage that external rotation. It will make a big difference in your posture. So, um, hope that works out well for you. I'm Dr. Emil Tompkins. These exercises are, um, are definitely going to be valuable in helping to make a change in your posture.